G'day, welcome back to Unpopular Evening. Uh, today I would like to tell you the story of Lonesome George. First of all, I'd like to apologise for how cloudy the water is, but I suppose the first lesson to be taken from this video is always wash your damn sand before adding it to your aquarium. The second lesson is never trust a crab, but we'll get into that later. Lonesome George's story is a tragic one. How did he wind up all alone in a large cloudy aquarium? Well, it all started when I introduced George in a school of about 20 of his friends to Arsehole Crab's tank. They were very small and quite fast, so I assumed that Arsehole Crab would just leave them alone. And even if he was interested in them, he probably couldn't catch them because he's a slow, stupid crab and they are fast, small fish. When I checked on the tank the next morning, however, I was horrified to discover that despite being very well fed, Arsehole Crab had eaten all but three of the fish. A day later, there were only two fish. These two brave souls lasted for another week. But then, it was just George, all by himself. George went on to survive for about two months in Arsehole Crab's tank. On several occasions I tried to rescue him, but he seemed equally adept at avoiding my net as he was at avoiding asshole crab. I eventually did manage to catch George and I relocated him to my 320 litre aquarium, but I was not going to allow him to spend his days living in a large cloudy aquarium all by himself. So to end this video, here is me adding another school of fish that I caught to keep him company. So enjoy. In adding these fish, I did stir up the substrate again and the water became even cloudier, so I take you back to the first lesson of this video, always wash your damn sand. Thank you.